the oil high out there from the Israeli foreign ministry. Joining us now is Dori Gold, who's former Israeli ambassador to the United Nations and has been advisor to a number of Israeli prime ministers. Dori Gold, it's good to speak to you today, despite the circumstances in which we're conducting this interview. Um, you've heard what Al Jazeera had to say about this. Isn't there a risk? It looks like prejudging the investigation. If you say before it has been conducted, we're having the investigation, but we think she was probably shot by a Palestinian fire. Well, you know, we've been here before. We have seen uh, when there have been uh, all kinds of military operations. Sometimes a journalist will be wounded, sometimes killed. Israel's uh, approach to this whole question is based on two fundamental principles. Number one, we are supporting freedom of the press. And perhaps even more important than that, we support um, the uh, rights of journalists to have access to the story. And uh, this is something that is very fundamental in Israel. We have a free press inside of Israel we don't want to curtail it in any way. And uh, we think it would be much easier to get to the bottom of this story mm. if the Palestinians would cooperate yes. with an Israeli investigation or with a joint uh, investigation. But to try and keep us out is not a smart move. Isn't there, uh, that my question stands though, isn't it uh, potentially difficult for Israel if it is perceived to be prejudging that investigation, and might that suggestion, well, it's Palestinian fire, but we're going to have an investigation, not be part of the, the difficulty then of getting the Palestinian authorities to cooperate with your investigation? Look, we've had this problem before where uh, our investigations or our, the whole situation has been prejudged. I don't know if you remember, uh, Janine has been a place where there have been very difficult firefights between the sure. Israeli army and some of the worst terrorist but, organizations. But, it, but the point that Mr. Moab was making was that at this particular time when this incident happened, or that is what he and the other injured colleague, he says, is, is saying, uh, there was no crossfire taking place. And indeed, this was not a dangerous part of Jenin at that point where she was shot. Well, look... I'm just saying Janine was known even in Arabic as the headquarters of the suicide bombers a few years back. It is a very dangerous area. But in order to get to the bottom of this, an investigation, which is a joint investigation, mm -hmm. investigation in which the Israeli side and the Palestinian side work together to get to the bottom of the story. Uh, you know, Israel and the Palestinian Authority have together had security cooperation. Mm. So the idea that we would work together to look at this is not far-fetched by any means. Sure. And I think that's probably the best thing we could do uh, at this point uh, if we want to get to a highly credible result. Let's talk more broadly beyond uh, the case of, of the late Shireen Abu Akhla and her colleague who was injured however they, they met their injuries and, in her case, the death uh, in this situation yesterday. Um, there is a broader concern, there will be a broader concern, that perhaps uh, journalists wearing flak jackets, even where they are emblazoned with the word press, have become more vulnerable in recent years. Would you broadly accept that's the case? I'm not talking specifically about Israel and the occupied territories, that there is a fear that perhaps journalists are no longer regarded as as kind of beyond being potential targets in, in dangerous uh, situations. Well, you're talking about the Middle East. And if we move, go from Afghanistan mm. all the way to Lebanon, mm. and perhaps in parts of North Africa as well, you're finding a lot of crossfire, a lot of difficult areas. That doesn't preclude media from covering the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Mm. We believe strongly in freedom of the press. We believe strongly in press access. And that's the position the government of Israel takes. And that is our diplomatic position. Dory Gold, former UN ambassador from the State of Israel. Thank you very much for speaking to us today.